Honorable Chief Minister, His Excellency Minister of Foreign Trade and distinguished guests, it's a privilege to have the opportunity to share our experience in West Bengal, which is more than a century old and we consider it as a privilege and it's been a very fulfilling experience. All of you as investors would agree that capital goes to places where it can flourish, multiply, where it can thrive. And investors look for not only the market opportunity, some competitive advantage, investors look for the right quality of talent, investors look for the right kind of work ethic, investors look for a very friendly business environment, enabling policies, good quality of infrastructure and all that is very much in place. In fact, we have seen this transformation in West Bengal over the last decade under the leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister. We have seen this transformation where she is ushering in a new paradigm of socio-economic growth, both development of business and inclusive and inclusive growth. And what we have seen is really boundless energy, deep commitment to transform and we are seeing this on the ground today. And I can, you know, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in eating it and I can give you our own example. Today we have 19 manufacturing facilities in West Bengal. It's been a journey, but I can tell you in the last 10 years is when most of it actually came. The 20th one is going to be commissioned within the next 12 months. Our largest food processing capacity is in West Bengal. We have five operating hotels in West Bengal, including uh, two, in, two ITC hotels in Calcutta which represents our largest hotel complex. Very soon we will have eight hotels in West Bengal catering to business travel and leisure travel. Bengal has got rich resources in agriculture across, it's a leader in many areas. That's why food processing is very strong for us there. It has immense potential on hospitality. It's a gateway for uh, the Northeast. It has got enormous rich assets in tourism. Whether it's culture, whether it's adventure, and so on and so forth. There's immense potential in tourism itself. A lot of rich assets are there. It is <clears throat> West Bengal is a place that has the finest academic institutions in the country. And therefore, talent is not a problem. You have the finest talent available. And the good thing is that you actually find that the employer retention is much better in West Bengal as compared to, the, to any other states. That's why our second uh, large facility for information technology is now actually coming up in we already have a center, it's going to expand, it's, it, it will be in uh, West Bengal, a very, in Kolkata, a very large facility. So given all these advantages that we have in West Bengal, given the fact that it's a large and growing market, the state GDP has been, last year has grown at 8.4%, more than the national average. It is a gateway to many proximal markets within and outside the country. Given the natural resources that are available, tourism assets, agriculture resources,
opponent of West Bengal than I am today. Thank you very much.